The Su-30 is a two-seat multi-role fighter variant of the Su-27. Initially it was known as Su-27PU. It evolved from the Su-27UB two-seat combat trainer version, but was fitted with new avionics and had an added ground attack capability. Essentially it was an improved capability variant of the Su-27. This aircraft made its maiden flight in 1986. Production began in 1992. It was renamed the Su-30 only in 1996. Its reporting name in the West is Flanker C. To date more than 200 of these aircraft have been built in Russia. Also India produces a version this aircraft locally under license. The Su-30 is currently used by the Russian Air Force. However only several original Su-30 aircraft are operational. Recently Russia is obtaining a newer version of this aircraft, the Su-30SM. The Su-30 received a number of export orders. Variants of this aircraft have been exported to Algeria, Angola, Armenia, China, India, Indonesia, Kazakhstan, Malaysia and Venezuela, Vietnam and Uganda. The Su-30 retains the Su-27's basic layout, construction of the airframe, engines, most of its wing structure, tail and substantial part of onboard equipment. Some versions of the Su-30 use canards and thrust vectoring engines for improved maneuverability. This aircraft also has a long-range phased array radar. In terms of capabilities the Su-30 is broadly similar to the US F-15E Strike Eagle. This aircraft is armed with a built-in 30mm GSH-301 cannon with 150 rounds of ammunition. It has a number of underwing hardpoints and can carry up to 8,000 kg of ordnance including air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, cluster and laser-guided bombs, or unguided rockets. It is worth noting that the original Su-27PU had 8 hardpoints, while improved Su-30MK has 12. The Su-30 is powered by two Saturn AL-31F afterburning turbofan engines. This aircraft has long range. With normal fuel reserves it has a range of 3,000 km and can perform a 4-5 to five hour combat mission. Furthermore it has an in-flight refueling probe, so the range can be increased to 5-200 km and flight duration to up to 10 hours. There are numerous versions of the Su-30. Some of them were specially tailored to meet requirements of particular customers. So performance and capabilities slightly varies from version to version. Variants Su-30K Export version It has been exported to India. Su-30KN Upgrade project for operational two-seat fighters, the Su-27UB, Su-30 and Su-30K. This program was cancelled with only a prototype built. Later it was revised as Su-30M2. Su-30MK Improved Export Version It was first revealed in 1993. Su-30MKI Improved Export Version for India It was jointly developed with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL. Its reporting name in the West is Flanker H. This aircraft uses some of the cancelled Su-37 technology, such as the thrust vectoring engines, canards, improved radar systems and avionics. Its avionics was sourced from India, Russia, France and Israel. Russia delivered the first aircraft but later this aircraft was licensed produced locally by HAL. As of 2015 India operated around 200 of these aircraft. However the Su-30 MKI fighter was notorious for crashes. By 2019 India lost 11 Su-30 MKI. Su-30 MKM. Improved export version for Malaysia. It is a derivative of the Su-30 MKI, but lacks canards. This aircraft uses a number of subsystems from other countries. First aircraft were delivered in 2007. As of 2015 Malaysia operates 18 of these aircraft. Su-30MKA Improved export version for Algeria. It lacks canards and is fitted with French and Russian avionics. 
a total of 58 of these aircraft were ordered. Su-30 MKK Improved export version for China It is used by Chinese Air Force. Its reporting name in the West is Flanker G. In Chinese Air Force use these aircraft for the long-range strike role. By 2012 China operated 76 of these aircraft. This version has also been exported to Indonesia. Su-30 Mk2 is an improved export version. It is a further development of the Su-30 Mkk. It has been exported to China, used by naval aviation. By 2012 a total of 24 were in service with China. This fighter plane has also been exported to Venezuela, Vietnam and Uganda. This aircraft lacks canards. Su-30 MKV is an improved export version for Venezuela. It evolved from the Su-30 MK2. Su-30 M2 upgraded version, based on the Su-30 MK2. Russian Air Force ordered 20 of these aircraft. By 2014 at least 12 were produced. Su-30 SM is a multi-role fighter, used by the Russian Air Force and Naval Aviation. It is an improved variant of the Su-30 MKI with an improved radar, weapon systems, communication system and ejection seats. It made its first flight in 2012. Russia ordered a number of these aircraft. By 2015 at least 39 were delivered. These replaced in service the MiG-29 SMTs. The Su-30SM has been exported to Kazakhstan. By 2015 at least four of these aircraft were delivered. Su-30SM-2 is a further modernized version. Initially it was known as the Su-30SM-1. It is fitted with an Urbis passive electronically scanned array radar. Also this aircraft is fitted with more powerful AL-41F1S engines. These same engines are used on the Su-35 multirole fighter. This multi-role fighter is compatible with KH-59 MK-2 cruise missiles and KAB-250 guided bombs. In 2019 a production contract was signed for an undisclosed number of these fighters. Initial deliveries were planned to begin in 2020 while series production was planned to begin in 2021. In 2022 a total of four Su-30SM-2 fighters were reportedly delivered to Russian naval aviation. There were plans to upgrade all operational Su-30 aircraft to the Su-30SM-2 standard. J-16 is a Chinese twin-seat multi-role fighter, produced by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation. Even though it is not direct derivative of the Su-30, but is very similar in form and function. It is an advanced version of J-11 air superiority fighter, China's version of the Su-27 but fitted with indigenous electronics.